Hey folks, Lester here uh, at I'm a Survivor. I uh, stopped by Tractor Supply and got me a load of feed that we need here for the Longhorns here. Uh, Ellie and Megan take care of all the feeding for the birds and whatnot, but uh, I still make sure that I maintain the Longhorns and all their needs. So today we're gonna do a little walkabout. Uh, well, first I'm gonna drop off some feed and then we'll get the cows up a little bit later and have some fun. So thank you all for joining me. It's always funner and gooder when you're here with me. And hey, check it out. I'm wearing my new drill sergeant hat. Yeah, I feel like a drill sergeant. I'm gonna keep it down nice and low, right over my eyes like that. And I'm gonna try as hard as I can not to talk like a drill sergeant. I don't think Jolene's gonna appreciate that. Jolene, get in line. You need to hear me, girl. Do you need to hush it up, Nate? Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep the Lester part about me and not turn into Master Chief. Guys, I'm noticing all of the geese are there inside the Littles barn. This might be the best time to go over there and try to close the doors. I will have to catch them individually and take them all to the front pond pasture. Uh, you guys know that the front pond pasture is now Sadie's playground. That's the uh, gu livestock guardian dog who resides in the front pond pasture. We also have the pigs in the front pond pasture and we're moving the donkeys back and forth to help us maintain the grass. Now, the one animal that we cannot seem to get back there are the geese. They've uh, made their way up front and you cannot get the geese to go. You can't make geese do anything they don't want to do. Now, our geese don't fly. If you're saying the geese are just going to fly out, no, our geese don't fly. So what I'm going to do is my plan is to walk some corn, sprinkle it on the ground inside the barn, get the geese to eat in the corn, and I'll go by and close both of the big barn doors. And at that point, I'll begin to catch geese. Once I catch them, I'll start carrying them up to the pond pasture and setting them over the fence. And they will stay in there. Now you're gonna say, Lester, if you just open the gate and feed up front, they'll follow you. Yes, they will, but guess what? The pigs are gonna run out. And if the pigs run out, we'll never get them back. So it's not as easy as what a lot of people think. That's the thing about farming in general and farm life and raising animals. Everyone thinks it's so darn easy. Uh, I'm not, I, and maybe I don't mean you. Maybe you're not one of those I'm talking about, but you know, someone goes to Old McDonald's farm and they get to do a petting zoo one time, or they, maybe the petting zoo comes to your school. And now for the rest of your life, you think that all animals are the same. And guys, they're not. People that maintain a farm can tell you real fast that it's a little bit different. <laughs> A little bit harder actually managing these guys on a day-by-day -day basis but nonetheless let me grab a, a scoop of corn and we will start taking geese to the front pond this ought to be fun i hope you'll join me all right i'm going to tell you right now that i'm too old for this but i do have some mealworms and some other things they'll enjoy eating a little combo that i'm going to sprinkle down on the ground hey sweetie i don't see any babies yet huh no babies yet Hi, everybody. So what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna startle and scare everybody. So, uh-oh, oh, oh that's, that's, not that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Here we go, look, look. Look at all the food. Let's put all this food, oh boy. Things just went from bad to worse. Jake, settle it down, you need to settle it down. Get, ah, you need to stop all that nonsense. Geese, we need these geese in here. That's what we need of the geese in here. I did not, I don't need all of you in here. I need you all out of here, actually. Boy, we just ran the geese off. All right, so what I've done is I've closed the doors down well over halfway down, and that will hopefully be able to draw the geese in, uh, but it will still be able to let Annie, Ernie, all the goats out if they choose to go out. And that's fine. Hi, Sue. Little Tilly, you be sweet to them babies. You're gonna have your own babies pretty soon and you don't want everyone to be sweet to your babies. So you gotta be sweet to these babies. So we do have tails that are still up. So if in case you're curious about the, uh, how far along our babies are, it's no, it's no time soon. All right, so the doors are cracked open. Everyone can go out if they wanna go out. 
and there's still a wonderful breeze. Believe it or not, the more you close the door, the more of a wind tunnel that's created through here. And so it's actually very cool standing right in this doorway. I feel a really amazing breeze. And of course it's shady in here, so it's not near as hot as it is out, out there. But uh, I'm gonna walk out of here now and we're gonna try to grab these geese before I leave. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this again. Now, I actually may need help here. I'm gonna try to get them inside and eating. If I had someone who could stand at the back door, that would be a whole lot easier. No one's home here right now. All right, I think, is that all 13? There should be 13. I think I can count 13 or moving around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so 13. All right, that's all 13. All right, I gotta see how we're gonna do this, guys. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside this first gate, reach my hand right inside the door and try to close it down. Uh, Dick, Daisy, go home. So, let's see how this works. I don't want to startle anybody. We don't want to startle them. That's what we don't want to do. Look, y'all need to be in the pond. You're too hot. You're all too hot over here. You need to be in the pond. You're, you're all panting. Look how you're all panting. See, you need to be in the pond. But you have to walk over there so I can help you. Or let me catch you and carry you over. You'll be a lot happier. They will be a lot happier. All right, I'm going to give them time to regroup and kind of get their wits about them. Let them settle down a little bit. I closed the far back side of the barn door. So if they go in now, all I have to do is pull the door down. I don't have to use the chain. I'm just going to pull it straight down. And then we'll have them trapped on the inside of there. Then I can start catching them. One of us got to control the gate. I just see Trudy is eyeballing us. We do not want her to come out if we can help it. Uh, you cut some geese off behind you, son. Hold on. Let's just go, go, go get behind those. Keep them together. Keep them, uh, keep them together. So what we're going to do is we're going to try a different approach. Ellie thinks we can just do it by gate control, by opening the gate, letting the geese in. But I, my fear is that we're going to have Trudy try to run out. Okay, why don't you run up ahead and open the gate and push it, push it. You got to push it inward. You got to push it, you know, push it inward away from us. Yeah. Okay, good. We're going to just walk them right up. Yeah, they need the pond. And Ellie did not want to try to catch each one of them and carry them because, well, they bite pretty bad. What? Sissy, do not mess up my routine, sissy. Do not. All right. Now, you got to get out of the way, Ellie. You're, you're, you you got to be a lot further away. It's okay. No, no, no. Ellie, you got to move. You got to be out of the way. Try to entertain Trudy. Hurry. If we can hurry and not have Trudy come over here, this will be a lot easier for us. We can catch Sissy. Oh, boy. They see the pond. There's Trudy in the mud. Oh, this is great. Ellie. Oh, Lord. Okay. Hold on. Brilliant. Good idea, son. It worked. It worked. Oh, boy. Yeah, get Sissy out of here. Hi. What are you doing, sweetie? Did we trick you? I'm sorry, Ellie. We tricked her. That was a good plan, son. That was a lot easier than what I was trying to do. It ended up being a lot easier than what I thought. Oh, they've missed the pond, Ellie. They're so excited to be back. These, uh, those feathers, they're so silly. It's like there was a turkey that stuck at a family member's house one time. I don't know how it got over there, but 
it was stuck all day on in this little short yard area it should not have been stuck for no reason but then hold on let me um, identify the the yard so we had a white turkey who went into somehow got into the back of joanne's yard now joanne has dogs but they weren't they were inside <laughs> And so Ellie went to save the turkey. What happened? And so basically, it, it should not have been stuck there all day because no. they can fly, but they, yeah. they don't know they can fly or they forget they can fly. Yep. And so when I went in there, it got scared of me and it started flying instinctively. And it was and in midair, it was like, wait, I'm above the fence. Let me just leave. <laughs> so the entire day that turkey walked the fence line, you know, I'm, is it squawking or whatever turkeys do uh, in distress? My, my point is, I don't think that some of these feathers that I think that you have to trigger their flight mechanism they can't trigger it themselves yeah maybe so and so danny i'm trying to video the geese danny so yeah so ellie went inside the pasture with the turkey or with the yard and suddenly the turkey remembered oh i can fly and so it, then out it flew now the thing is geese though i don't think can fly we've seen them try to fly for years danny and they only get a foot or two off the ground and that's about as high as, high as they go the mallards fly great, but they always like, they like the pond. Those are all the mallards under the pine tree now. And then the Muscovy, uh, you all know that Pablo and them can fly, but they leave and come back. Well, hello there, Sadie. It's about time you come to help. What's your favorite spot is under the trampoline. She likes that trampoline, huh? Mm -hmm. That's great. All right, son. Well, thank you for your ideas. Uh, your your ideas saved us a lot of work and a lot of and a lot of bites. Oh, of course. I just yeah, you just walk in a general direction and they'll they'll, they'll Hi, run away sweetie. from you in that direction. Hi, baby. Oh, I gotta get my baby. I got All right, I'm coming. Well, that was an adventure. I wanna I wanna thank y'all for joining us. Uh, getting the geese moved was a big step in the right direction now we have our pigs our geese our ducks most 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 of the ducks uh the guardian the livestock guardian sadie and the donkeys are all in the pond pasture let me video as i'm leaving so the donkeys are here to help out with some of the grass the pigs are here because they need the water the geese the ducks need the water and we need them to be able to keep themselves cool and hydrated and do their job they have a job to do guys they eat algae they do things that water serves them as much as it serves us wait does that water serve us that water serves them okay they serve the they serve the water the water you know what just thank y'all for watching it's always funner and gooder Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.